Will Florida voters give Rick Scott another four years in office, or will Charlie Crist get his old job back? Based on the most recent polls, it really could go either way. On this night before the election, we want to show you how it all comes together. And new at 10 tonight, Fox 13 political editor Craig Patrick takes us behind the scenes for Democracy in Action. A vote is our voice, our right, and our duty. I hope every American will turn out and vote. You and me. Get out there. Go vote now. But while we can all see the results, we don't often see what it takes to pull it off. There's a lot of moving parts. And it's a lot of parts to move. There's a tremendous amount of planning. Ballots have been flying out of the Hillsborough Election Center for weeks. They're printed, folded, and fed down the line. The machine slips on a secrecy sleeve, tucks in a return envelope, and spits out a package addressed to the voter who requested it. Here they go. Then they sort the ballots by zip code to get a postal discount. This is bulk shipping by the ton. One box of ballots can weigh more than 1,200 pounds. Election staffers load ballots by forklift onto a moving truck for their trip to the post office. Then they gather all the signs and scanners and rows of equipment and ship them out to some 300 voting sites across Hillsborough County. Everything that goes in and out of this door is barcoded and we know when it goes out, when it comes back, and where it's going. But that wasn't always the case. No, everything was pretty much stacked in a corner. Craig Latimer was part of a team that took over after a slew of problems six years ago. I forgot all of them. <laughs> Under former Supervisor Buddy Johnson, the county had machine failure, software glitches, delays in the returns, 6,000 absentee ballots arrived, on election day, an audit found sloppy accounting and improper spending. And after Johnson left, Latimer found a box with 800 uncounted ballots collecting dust. Those 800 ballots had never been tabulated. To make sure that that's in fact the results are coming up appropriately. But as the current supervisor of elections, Latimer worked hard to restore public trust. And it showed in 2012. That's while other parts of the state had reporting delays and seven-hour lines, the Secretary of State cited Hillsborough as a model for doing it right. I'm used to planning and I'm used to training, and we certainly uh, started a lot of that here. A staff of 42 swells to a team of hundreds, then thousands as we approach Election Day. Ask the voter to read the oath and read the oath. Sign and accept. Exactly. Some just learned how to use iPad minis to check in voters. Others spent days testing the electronic voter ID system, while others tested and retested the ballot scanners. We use what we call a test deck with a predetermined outcome so that we're able to ascertain that it did, in fact, count the votes correctly. And between all of the testing and planning and training, Mr. Latimer. Thank you. Latimer reaches out to citizens. In this case, new citizens to encourage them to vote. And after those votes get counted, He'll store the paper ballots among the millions of other pages from elections past. And then gear up for the next campaign. We get excited about elections. So whatever happened to those 800 uncounted ballots that Latimer found when he arrived? Well, those were cast in a race in Temple Terrace. Latimer brought in the affected candidates. They took a closer look and found out that it did not affect the overall results. Of course, we'll see the results of this election on Tuesday night. Reporting in the newsroom, Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News. All right, Craig, and if you're planning to vote tomorrow, here are the top three things you need to know. You can only vote in the polling place assigned to your precinct. Also, make sure you bring a valid photo and a signature ID. And if you received a vote by mail ballot but would rather vote in person, you should just bring that ballot that you received in the mail with you, and that's fine. Yep, you have to bring that. Now, Florida's Attorney General Pam Bondi brought out the big guns in Tampa. Former Governor Jeb Bush was there for her at the Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City. She talked about her record of fighting against pill mill doctors. She's running against Democrat George Sheldon. Jeb Bush says he admires Pam Bondi's conviction and he started this talking about a former governor. 
His name is Charlie Crist. All he does is talk. He doesn't act. He doesn't lead. He doesn't believe in anything other than his own ambition. I would like to support people like Pam Bondi who have core beliefs and who act on them and serve people with passion and conviction and do so in a way that truly makes a difference. Jeb Bush on the campaign trail. Pam Bondi plans to watch the election results from the Pepin Hospitality Center in Tampa tomorrow night. Now, all of us here at Fox 13 will have complete election coverage beginning at 7 when the polls close both on the air and online. We will be updating the results all night on our website, myfoxtampabay.com, followed by a special edition of the Fox 13 10 o'clock news while we wrap this up.